Back in 2020, during the pandemic, I fell in love with journaling. It became a way to reflect, organize my thoughts, and just be creative. Ever since then, I've always dreamed of creating my own journals. In fact, I wanted to try Amazon KDP back in 2022, but since I was busy with college, I didn't really have the time. Now that I just graduated, I finally decided to give it a try. So, what is Amazon KDP? Basically, it's Kindle Direct Publishing, a platform where you can create books like notebooks, journals, planners, puzzle books, or even novels and sell them on Amazon. The best part? You don't have to worry about printing, shipping, or inventory. Amazon handles all that for you. You just create and upload. And in this video, I will show you the 5 simple steps I took to start my first KDP journal. Before starting, I wanted the mall to check out some examples. I've always loved browsing stationery and journals, probably because journaling helped me so much during the pandemic. As I look around, I notice so many notebooks, planners, and guided journals on display. And that's when it hit me. These are exactly the kind of books I could create and publish through KD. And even though I told myself I was just there to search for ideas, I still ended up buying one. There are three main types of books you can publish on KDP. First is the low content books. These are the easiest to start with. Things like journals, notebooks, or planners, or sketchbooks. They don't need a lot of writing, just line pages, grids, or simple prompts. And people love buying them, so if you're like me and enjoy collecting journals, you know how addictive they can be. Next are the medium content books like puzzle books, activity books, or guided journals with prompts. These need more creativity because you're designing content people actually interact with. But they're fun to make, especially if you like adding your own twist. And finally, we have high content books. These are the big ones like novels, cookbooks, self-help books, or children's stories. They take more time since they need full writing or illustrations, but the potential is really huge if your book becomes a hit. Since I'm still new to KDP, I decided to start with low-content books. It's simple, fun, and the best way to learn the process. Now, the fun part, designing your journal. There are a lot of tools you can use, but personally, I use BookBook. Amazon KDP itself is free, so the only thing I decided to invest in was BookBook. And honestly, it's been so worth it. I love how I can do everything in one place, from researching which books are actually selling, to designing the interior and cover, all within the same platform. So let's start. Let's go to the product search tab. Since I want to make a notebook just like the ones I saw in the mall, I will go ahead and click the category notebook and type composition notebook here, then click search or press enter. You can actually sort the results by review or bestseller rank to see what's performing best. And as we can see here, the top of the list is from Stacy Adam. Her book is priced around $4 and her estimated monthly sales are about $368 with an average moving sale of $300 which is really good for a low-content book. You can also check out the reviews, see when it was uploaded, and read through the description to get inspiration or ideas for your own book. Next, let's go to BookBolt Studio. And this is where I can start creating my project. So when you get here, just click paperback cover with interior since I will be designing both the cover and the inside pages together. For this project, I will name mine Polkadot Ruled Notebook. Then for the trim size, I'm choosing 7.5 by 9.25 inches, which is a nice standard notebook size you can also use. For the interior, I will go with black and white interior with white paper. It's simple and affordable for printing. I will choose Bleed. Bleed basically means your design or lines will extend all the way to the edge of the page. So when Amazon prints it, there won't be any unwanted white borders. For the page count, I will just set it to 120 page, which equals to 60 sheets of paper. Once everything's ready, just click create project. Then you will be directed here. As you can see, we have here the book size, details, barcodes, and spine. 
Everything's laid out clearly so you can visualize how your final book will look. So let's start. First, I will click on this area and choose a color for the page cover. I want mine in um, pastel yellow. So once I'm happy with the color, I will just click OK. Then I'll go to this transparent like button and check the box hide cover template. That way the color will really pop out and the guides won't distract you while designing. Now for this part, I will design a simple notebook cover. Here on the left side, you will see all the tools. I will click the one that has this text button. And for the font, I will use my favorite font which is Shrikhand. I really like it because it's bold and fun. Now I will type notebook, rotate it a bit, then copy it, and rename the other one to composition. Once that's done, I will just change their colors. I want notebook in yellow and composition in orange. Next, I will click shape tools. Bookbolt has everything you need here. I will just choose the circle shape and make it yellow. Then I will copy it several times to create a pattern. For one of the circles, I will just change it to orange so it looks like an outline or accent beside the yellow ones. So once I'm happy with the layout, I'll just select all the dots, right click and choose group objects. That way I can move them together easily and arrange them however I want. Now I will add another text, write, learn and create. To give it an extra design, I will just go to shape and click this line and add some lines beside the text for a little style. Next, I will move to the back cover and add a motivational quote. Dream big, study hard, and let every page take you closer to your goal. Then I will just change its colors to orange so it matches the theme. Finally, I will add the details of the notebook on the bottom left side of the back cover. Things like size or specs so buyers can easily see what kind of notebook it is. Just make sure not to put any design on the bottom right side because as you can see, that's where the barcode will be placed. Now that we're done with the cover, let's move on to the interior. So just click on the interior templates library here on the left and you will see so many options like puzzles, planners, craft paper, line, dotted, and more. Since I'm creating a simple ruled notebook, I will just choose this one. I actually searched what's best for high school students and according to Google, it's college ruled so that's what I will pick. You can click select all to apply it to every page or deselect and manually choose which pages you want to have the template. You can also adjust things like the margins, line spacing, or page size depending on your style. But since I want mine in the default settings, I'll just keep it as is. Then just click submit. And as you scroll down, you will see the interior pages are already generated for you. It's just like that, super convenient. There's actually a lot more you can explore here in Bookbolt. You can add your own images like what I did in my other designs, apply patterns or textures, clone objects, add grid lines to guide your layout, and even try out their AI tools for generating images or stories. Now that we're done, let's go ahead and click download. Make sure to choose CMYK and Bookbolt will prepare your file. Once it's finished downloading, we're ready to upload it. Now that we're done designing and downloading both the cover and the interior, let's go ahead and upload it to Amazon KDP. As you can see, I already uploaded some notebooks here before. 
but for this video let's create a new one and you will see there are four options kindle ebook paperback hardcover and series page since mine is a notebook i will just choose paperback for the book title, I usually check how other sellers format theirs, so most of them include the design and specs in the title, so I will just do the same. I'll start with composition notebook, then add the design detail like cute minimal polka dots, followed by the college rule, the page count, the size which is 7.5 by 9 by 25 inches, and who it's for like for students or for teachers and for the subtitle i'll just keep that same with the series and edition number since this notebook isn't part of a series next is the author section you can put your full name here but since i want to use my pen name or username i'll just type it in the box for the last name i'll just keep contributors and now for the description, I actually made mine using AI. I just typed in the notebook's details and it generated a short description for me. I'll just paste it here, then make some of the important words bold to help them stand out. And for the publishing rights, I'll just select I own copyright and hold necessary publishing rights. Next, for the primary audience, since this notebook doesn't contain any explicit or mature content, I'll just click no. And I'll skip the minimum and maximum age part too. For the primary marketplace, I'll just choose Amazon.com since that's where most of the buyers are. Now let's move on to categories. If you're not sure what to put, you can actually use BookBolt to find high relevance categories. Just go to KDP Category Finder inside BookBolt, type Composition Notebook and search. What I like about this is it gives you the most relevant and top performing categories. So you're not just guessing, you're choosing what actually works for other sellers. Let's just copy the ones that fit our product and paste them into KDP. Since we can select up to 3 categories, I'll go ahead and use all of them. Once done, click save. Next is the keyword section. This is really important because it helps Amazon know what your book is about and show it to the right audience. So I'll just go back to Book Bolt, click the keyword tab, and type in my niche. For better results, make sure to be specific, use niche keywords or long tail combinations. Mine will be something like composition notebook that is aesthetic and good for student and teachers. So it's more searchable and relevant. Then click search. And as you can see right here, BookBolt shows the search volume for both Amazon and Google, which is really helpful because it tells you what people are actually looking for. I'll just open my notepad app so I can jot down some of these keywords. Now let's copy the ones with the highest search volume. We will need about 6 keywords but I'll just choose 5 of the best ones for now. Let's try searching for more. Wow, look at this one. It has 18k search volume. Let's take note of that too. And this one as well. Once I've gathered all my keywords, I'll just go back to Amazon KDP and paste all of them into the keyword boxes. For the last keyword, I'll just make my own based on my design. Something like polka dot notebook after that just click save and continue and you will be directed to the paper content section now here just click publish without ISBN for the print options there are four types but I'll go with black and white interior with white paper since this one's just a simple notebook next is the trim size 
I'll choose 7.5 by 9.25 inches and make sure it matches exactly what you designed in book bolt. Since my notebook design has bleed, I'll check bleed here too. For the paper finish, I'll just select math. Now the most important part, the manuscript. Here's where you will upload your interior file. Just make sure it's in PDF format. After that, it's time for the book cover. You can actually use Amazon's built-in cover creator, but since I already made mine in BookBolt, I'll just upload my own cover file. And that's done! Oh wait, I just realized my notebook has 120 pages, so let me quickly edit that here in the details. Okay, updated 120 pages. Once both the manuscript and book cover are uploaded, just scroll down and click no for this question. Now for my favorite part, the book preview. Just click launch previewer to see how your book will actually look. And here it is. These red lines shows where your book will be trimmed during printing. And as you can see, Amazon's already generated a barcode for you automatically. So let's flip through the pages. Here's the interior. I really like how clean it turned out. Let's also check the thumbnail view. A total of 120 pages. Since I'm satisfied with how it looks, I'll just go ahead and click approve. After that, you will see a quick summary section including the printing cost. And for this notebook, it cost about $3 per copy in the US marketplace. Once that's all set, just click save and continue. Now we're down to the last step, pricing and rights. First, click all territories so your book can be available on all Amazon marketplaces. For the primary marketplace, I'll just choose Amazon.com. Now for the pricing, the minimum printing cost for my notebook is $6.08 so I'll just set my price at $6.50. Note that small increase already includes Amazon's royalty fee, which is basically your share after Amazon deducts the printing cost. Here, you will also see how your book will be priced in other Amazon marketplaces like UK, Canada, and Japan. Just scroll down, read and agree to the terms and conditions, and if you want, you can also request a printed proof copy to check your book's quality before it officially goes live. Once everything looks good, just click publish your paperback book and that's it! You can now see it here in your KDP library. Amazon usually takes up to 3 days to review your book and once it's approved, you will receive an email saying your book is now live. Since my book was finally live, I started promoting it on my personal social media accounts. Some of my friends even ask about it. They ask if I do customized notebooks, but I just told them it's only available on Amazon. And also, someone actually sent me a video of the notebook she bought from Amazon and that made me so happy. That moment inspired me to buy my own author copies too. You can actually order your own book at a special author price, which means you only pay the shipping cost, not the retail price. You can buy multiple copies, but for me, I just decided to order three, one for each notebook design I made. The total price was okay, but when it came to the shipping, well, that's where it got a bit expensive. By the way, if you're planning to promote your own KDP books, I really recommend buying your own author copies. That way, you can take photos and videos of the actual product to post on your social media or selling platforms. It helps your audience see your work in real life and builds more trust with potential buyers. And that's it! That's how I created and published my very first notebook on Amazon KDP using BookBolt. It's honestly such a fulfilling experience seeing something you designed actually became a real product that people can buy online. Plus, I really love how BookBolt made the whole process so much easier, from creating the interior to finding keywords and uploading everything. It saves so much time, especially if you're just starting out. If you want to try it yourself, you can use my discount code ROME to get a 20% off any BookBolt plan when you sign up. If you have any questions about the process or about BookBolt, feel free to leave them in the comments. I would love to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video inspires you to start your own KDP journey too. Bye!